So today I'm going to be talking about what to take with you on the London to Brighton, or really any long ride, because um, I think this applies for everything. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be taking on the day, uh, some of it's more essential and some of it a bit less essential. Uh, before we start looking at what I've got on the bike, uh, perhaps need to talk about clothing. Um, clearly you need some good padded cycling shorts. There's no way you're going to be doing that kind of distance uh, without some kind of padding, without feeling very sore afterwards. So really invest in some decent padded cycling shorts. Um, you'll need probably a cycling jersey is useful. Uh, they've got three really useful back pockets which I'll definitely be making the most of and um, potentially some cycling shoes depending on what kind of pedals you've got uh, but I'm going to be using some Shimano SPD uh, mountain bike shoes. Um, as well as that you need to be prepared for changes in weather uh, so if you've got leg warmers, arm warmers, that kind of thing you might need to take that along. Um, you also might need to prepare for windy conditions or rainy conditions so in my case um, I have a saddle bag here and if I can get into it, inside I have a wind jacket. So this can be a wind jacket, can be a rain jacket, uh, whatever conditions you think you're going to have on the day, uh, that's what you should take along. So something lightweight to protect you from the elements. Um, also in here I've got some essential maintenance items. So I have got a spare in a tube, absolutely essential. Uh, if you've got tubes, if you've got inner tubes in your tyres, unless you've got tubeless, uh, but if you've got inner tubes, take inner tubes. Even if you've got tubeless, might be worth taking an inner tube because in an emergency you can chuck one in and uh, get going again. Uh, I've got a tyre pressure gauge. Um, this isn't really essential um, in an emergency. If you have to pump up your tyres or your inner tube, spare inner tube, um, the exact pressure is not going to be that important. You can just use your fingers, but I like to have one of those. Um, then I've got a multi-tool here. This multi-tool has some tyre levers built in. Um, you'll need tyre levers as well to get your tyres on and off um, if you need to change your inner tube. And the multi-tool has also got a chain tool on it as well, so if I need to repair my chain I can do that so I can pretty much do anything with that and any kind of adjustments. Um, in the back here I've got some patches in case I run out of inner tubes and I need to patch it up. Um, and that's about it for the saddle bag. Um, you'll notice on the back of the saddle bag um, I've got a light um, these are the barrel pixel lights. Um, I find that these work perfectly with this Topeak uh, saddle bag. Um, works really really well. If you're expecting any kind of mud or rain or uh, otherwise, some kind of mud guard is useful. Um, I just use this arse savers one. This is the large size in case you've got a large arse. Um, so I've got that to try and protect me just in case the conditions get wet. Um, I've also got a light on the front as well, uh, another barrel pixel, um, great for visibility. Uh, or being seen I should say. Um, I'm not expecting to ride in the dark but always good to be visible. Uh, on the top here I've got my phone mount um, and this is a waterproof Topeak case uh, tested on a few occasions and it definitely does what it says on the tin it keeps your phone dry which is fantastic. Um, I've made a small hole in the bottom here and the reason I've done that is so that I can plug in a charging cable and inside this Topeak top tube bag I have a USB battery bank amongst other things. I also have some things to consume along the way and this is essential. If you're going on a log ride you need to keep fueled, it's really important. Um, clearly you're not going to stop and have a massive roast or something, um, that's not going to do you any good uh, but you need to eat little and often. Um, so I've got some SIS gels here. I've just got two in here at the moment but I'll probably take four on the day, a couple more in my jersey back pockets. I've also got some energy bars. I've got two of those as well. Um, also useful. I've got some nice homemade ones that I'm going to be taking on the day but uh, I've got a couple of these as well just in case. Um, I've got 
well, it's not a credit card, but I've got my uh, library card. But on a day, take take t take a credit card. Uh, don't take your library card, uh, and take some cash as well, just in case. Uh, you never know when you might need that. And then I've got my keys. Don't forget your keys. And then also I've got some tissue. Um, this could be used for anything: um, minor injuries, um, cleaning things, wiping stuff. You just never know when you might need it, or if you just get especially muddy, uh, clean yourself up a bit. Useful to have some tissue. Uh, and then inside the netted compartment on the bag here, I've got an anchor. I think this is a 13,000 milliamp hour uh, battery bank. It's got a couple of ports on here, so if you've got another device that you want to charge, for instance a GoPro, um, absolutely perfect to do that. Uh, and it's got a little port on the other side here um, that allows the cable to come out and for this to remain closed and relatively watertight. Um, I've ridden in rainy conditions and everything stayed dry so far, so I've been really, really happy with this. Uh, obviously you need to eat, uh, but perhaps even more importantly, you need to drink uh, and stay hydrated. So I think that on a ride of this magnitude, it's absolutely essential to have at least two water bottles. Um, these are larger size ones, so I think these are 710 uh, milliliter bottles. I've got two of those. I'm probably going to use some um, hydration tablet things in them on the day. Uh, I particularly like these ones, the Cola Flavor SIS, and um, they've got caffeine as well, which I don't really know whether it helps or not, but I just like the flavor. Uh, but the main thing is that they refill you in terms of um, salts and, and other essential things that you lose that, that water alone can't really uh, replenish. So make sure that you've got plenty of liquid on the bike. There will be places to stop along the way uh, to refill, uh, but I would recommend taking at least two bottles. I've got these optional caps on the top as well. Um, I've found that even riding on the road, if you're riding a significant distance, um, you get a lot of grime coming up from the road. Um, and yeah, unless you like eating road grime, I would recommend that these uh, optional caps are definitely worth it. Um, then on the back of the bike here, we've got another important essential, which is a mini pump. So obviously if I do get a puncture, I can use my multi-tool to get the wheels off, get the tires off, uh, replace the inner tube with the spare that I've got, uh, and then I can reinflate it using the mini pump. Uh, so I think that's just about everything. Um, yeah, hopefully that covers most of the stuff that you'll need on a long ride. Obviously there might be some other things as well. I would highly suggest uh, potentially insect spray, use it before you go, depending on where you're cycling, uh, and certainly sun cream. Um, if you're gonna be out in the sunshine for a long time, uh, apply sun cream and maybe even take a small bottle along with you. Uh, so I think that pretty much covers everything. I hope that was useful and uh, good luck on the ride. <laughs>